Hi, my name is Patrick and this video should tell you how to prepare for verbal section for CAT 24 if you're starting from August 24. Okay, basically, you have ample time to prepare. Four months is sufficient time to prepare for the exam. Three and a half, four months time. You plan properly, you can definitely do your preparation. Uh, I have prepared, trained for CAT for more than 20 years, so fairly comfortable with the exam. Uh, we do run courses, short courses for CAT 24, DLR, Max and Mentorship course. If you're interested, you can take a call. CAT exam. So around 70% of the verbal section in the CAT is based on reading comprehension. 10% is parasimony. Almost 80% of the paper is somewhere based on reading. Right? So that means the focus of CAT is reading. If you look at verbal, basically consists of three parts. Reading, grammar and vocabulary. So the number of questions on grammar and vocabulary is almost nil. So the focus of the whole paper is sort of reading. So if you're good at reading and if you're weak at grammar, you can still crack the CAT. And that is what is important. So in that case, uh, if you look at 80% of papers directly linked to reading, even the odd man out, sentence completion, paradigms that come, I mean, if you read a lot, you will be able to solve this question better. The focus of your preparation has to be able to build a good habit of reading on the first one. If you can do that, your verbal section is taken care of as far as the exam is concerned. You can go to the past papers of CAT and check out the format of the paper, get a better idea about it. I mean, I would recommend a minimum one to two hours per day is what you need to spend in the month of August for reading. I mean, different type of reads. One is novels, articles of your hobby, sports, something that you enjoy reading. So read that for some time. Apart from that, read two, two, two three articles of varied topics. I mean, here is a reading list by Rochelle Rizosa. You can check that off. I mean, you will get varied topics, reading list that, I mean, the source from where you normally get passages in the cat paper. So pick up those two, three reading lists and read them. I mean, that would be a good option. And then newspaper editorials. So read newspaper editorials also. It's a good option in terms of creating a good reading habit. Okay, something that you enjoy will help you to create a habit. And reading from diverse topics and editorials will help you to understand difficult topics. Initially, you may find it difficult to read these two parts and reading varied topics and editorials. But as and when you get used to that language, it will become simpler to understand. But be consistent while reading. A lot of people don't take reading seriously. According to me, reading is the most important part of CAT preparation. If you can read regularly, even if you're weak in verbal in the start, I'm sure till the examination you'll be able to do well as far as exam is concerned. Reading not only helps you in verbal, but will help you in DLR and MAC because if you're able to read well, you're able to understand the DLR sets and logic sets better and MAC some better and you'll be able to solve it more accurately. So reading becomes extremely important. September, start reading some articles on business editorials. So you're normally reading editorials anyway. Pick up a few articles of business editorials apart from whatever you're reading on top and go about it. So read regularly. That's more important. You can do vocabulary. If you feel that your vocabulary, specifically I had a student who was from a vernacular medium who found reading a little difficult because he did not know words. So he then picked up word list and read words on a regular basis. Spent a lot of time on word, half an hour every day on word list which helped him, you know, whether he got 19.8 overall, got a call from IMA and so on. But yes, uh, uh, so word power made easy by Norman Lewis is almost source of preparation. So pick up whatever you're comfortable. You can try both, see where you're comfortable and do that. Either word list or Norman Lewis. But do this only if you're not comfortable with vocabulary. If you're comfortable and if you feel you can read well, at least for the CAT exam, vocabulary is not required. You can also solve verbal exercises. There are a lot of verbal exercises which are like grammar, vocabulary, the books, notes of that you have. Solve those. I mean, don't go to Brennan Martin, etc. It can get you more confusing. Instead of that, solve exercises. Whenever you do a mistake, write it down in a book and learn from that mistakes. And over a period of time, as when you keep on solving more, you'll be able to identify the common things that you do and learn to avoid them. That will help. But remember, in CAD, you don't have grammar and vocabulary. But yes, if you want to improve it, solving exercises and noting down your mistakes is a good way to improve. We do run courses on uh, different management and examination and we will help you with regards to preparation. We will come up with more videos that will help you with prep. Uh, so if you are interested, you can subscribe to the channel and we will help you and guide you till your examination. Right? All the best.